Greetings, royal family. It's Friday. What the Friday? Hey, what the Friday? It's Friday. 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 Welcome back to another segment of the WTF show, the What the Friday show. Yes, I am bringing this show back. Last week was the season two premiere. (laughs) After being on hiatus for a short period of time. All right, so this is where I basically concoct a whole bunch of shenanigans that's been going on on social media. Um, Some old, some new. I just pick whatever I want to talk about. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you're dropping your comments and your hellos and your happy Fridays in the chat during the commentary. Be sure to like, like, like the video, share, share, share the video. I don't mind. And I do want to welcome some of our new royal family members. Welcome. Hopefully you will enjoy your stay here amongst the royal family. All right, let's just get straight into it. So we got a couple of things to talk about. Stevie Wonder is on the lineup. Nene, of course, she stays circulating in the media. Beyonce's on the lineup. We got a, a Callie Karen alert. You know, she got paws put on her. Bow Wow is on the lineup, along with a couple of more things, right? So first up, now, y'all know I like Shots of Sunset, and I have been griping about them not having a reunion, and I have been keeping you guys up to date, those of you who like the show. So Reza, he, I guess, called himself disclosing details during the Shots of Sunset Season 8 reunion. Um, So he's gearing up for the airing of the reunion. Seems like it has already been filmed. So he says that he disclosed every detail in the reunion. He said it was fire. You guys are gonna love it. This was on his social media recently. So this is what he wrote on on Instagram. So he had a picture where he looked extremely excited. Now the Shots of Sunset reunion is going to be a segment, I guess, on the Watch What Happens live show that comes on Bravo with... Andy Cohen as the host he says that you know I may Reza that is he says I may get a phone call for disclosing every detail of the Shots of Sunset season 8 reunion but here it is and then he just put a whole bunch of emojis so he didn't spill any tea he probably cannot because it hasn't aired yet um I'm still waiting to find out the update about Reza being accused of cheating remember Tommy said that that's MJ's husband uh he says that Rez has been cheated on his husband. I want to know what's going on legally with Tommy and Reza. You know, some charges were not dropped. The restraining order was dropped. A whole bunch of stuff. So it is going to go down. You know, uh, Gigi, she's been talking to the press. So it's just a lot to cover. And I don't like the fact, I'm going to say it again, I don't like the fact that they're just getting a cheesy little segment on Watch What Happens Live. That's whack. They need to have a reunion. Is this show on its way out the door? Question I posed in my last update. Let me know what you think. All right, up next. Uncle Stevie Wonder, okay? So he was in the news recently, and he was voicing his uh, opinions. And he was basically talking about President Cheeto Head. Um, he released a YouTube video denouncing racism and encouraging fans to vote. So Uncle Stevie said, it's a bad day. (sighs) This is not meant to be funny, but I I thought this was hilarious when I read this. Uncle Stevie said, it's a bad day when I can see better than your 2020 vision. (laughs) You know, he really has a good sense of humor. I like Stevie. So again, he was referring to President Cheeto Head. He said he wasn't going to be mentioning him by name. So the video that Stevie Wonder did is titled, The Universe is Watching Us. So it it pretty much covers him talking about uh, the the recent Juneteenth celebration. He said he could not help but think of the three states in the country that still do not recognize the holiday. He said it reminded him of the 18-year struggle that he went through to get Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday declared a national holiday. MLK Day, the holiday, 
uh, that was signed into law by President Ronald Reagan in 1983. Was a good year. That's when a queen was born. So Stevie Wonder, he said that um, he basically celebrated that achievement by creating the song Happy Birthday. I love that song. Happy birthday to ya. That was in celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King Day being recognized as a holiday. Um, what else did Stevie say? He says, I've heard the person in the highest place of this nation, he's referring to Cheeto Head, say there are fine people on both sides. That sounds non-committal to me. He goes on to say, I have a great relationship with the blacks, peaceful protesters called thugs, immigrants called our words. This is what Stevie Wonder is saying. He's basically repeating some of the past statements that Cheeto Head has made. And he goes on to say, and from the very place that civilization began, Africa, I've heard this commander in chief call it a S-H-I-T hole. Wow. One day you will surely be sorry. So Uncle Stevie is encouraging people to vote in the 2020 presidential election this November, saying, move your feet to the polls and move your hands and vote. If life can have an ending, all things can have an ending. Systemic racism can have an ending. Police brutality can have an ending. Economic oppression for black American people can have an ending. A movement of an action is a movement standing still. To those who say they care, move more than your mouth. Yes, Stevie. Uncle Stevie has given us clear and distinct instructions. Okay? And we must show this legend respect. I really like what he had to say. He's right. He's absolutely right. You know, we do have to move more than our mouth. Even though talking about all of these things is therapeutic for some people. It brings awareness to others who, who may be ignorant to some things. I know some of you may say, how could you be ignorant with so much information at your fingertips? Believe it or not, some people are ignorant by choice and some people just don't know what they don't know. So I think that this was a very strong and, and well-received by me message. So Stevie is encouraging us to go out and vote. Good. And Stevie clearly said that it's a shame. He has better vision than Cheeto had. We respect it, Uncle Stevie. Moving along. This guy, man. Bow Wow. Oh, God. Now, Bow Wow claimed months ago, and I, I, I talked about this. He claimed that he was quitting growing up hip-hop ATL. He also claimed that we TV was full of it, right? Now he's saying he's involved behind the scenes. So he announced to fans that he was quitting we TV and then now he's not, you know, he's saying that he's not walking away from the network and he's still involved behind the scenes. He says, for me, it's a different situation to me because I'm involved behind the scenes. So I don't necessarily have to be in front of it. This is what he told Hollywood life. He continues. I can always be behind it and still get my points across through different things. I love to create anyway, but my future with WeTV is strong. I'm not leaving WeTV. Things happen or sad things happen all the time. In this business, you get a little frustrated here and there. So he is the executive producer of the show. I remember when he said that he was going to quit a couple of months ago, he encouraged Angela Simmons who is his friend, girlfriend, whatever. It doesn't matter. He encouraged her to step down as well um, and insinuated that he wanted to start something new with her, you know, start their own little network or franchise. Well, we know several of the stars from Growing Up Hip Hop have quit. They expressed their disapproval with the network. We know Romeo and his deity didn't like the editing tactics and how the storylines were going. So that was all played out on Growing Up Hip Hop LA this past season. So Bow Wow, he says though, that he's happy to continue working with WeTV. He said, for me, it's a marriage that if I wanted to walk out the door, I don't think they would let me walk out the door anyway. I'm happy here. They're the first network to give me that executive producer title and gave me that free form. 
I could never just turn my back on WeTV because like I said, they rolled the dice for me and gambled with us and I'm thankful for that. Bow Wow, in a nutshell, okay? The money is drying up. You're probably not really able to tour as much as you want to, but at least he kept it real. He said, look, you know, things are good here for me, but you just said recently that it wasn't. I don't know. Maybe they renegotiated his contract. Maybe he's getting paid more, or maybe he is just holding on to the stable income that he is receiving as EP for the show. I'm not mad at it. It is what it is. Now, I know a few of you have DM'd me, uh, and some of you commented on the last, the season finale of Growing Up Hip Hop LA, and I asked you guys, do you guys watch Growing Up Hip Hop ATL? Some of you said yes. Hey, you should review it. Again, thank you for the DMs. I'm gonna start shouting you guys, shouting you guys out. If when you send me DMs, if you don't mind me shouting you guys out, like when you send me funny comments, make sure you put that in the DM because some of your comments are he la re us. And I appreciate the laughs. I love the energy. Love it. Let's keep it going. Anyway, now I tried to watch growing up hip hop ATL uh last night. I, I promise you, I really gave it a true effort. But after, who was the guy? His assistant who was supposed to go on tour with him. Uh, Diamond's boyfriend, I guess. I was so confused. I'm like, what is going on? I watched up until that point. It is on a DVR still, so I may give it a second try. But for those of you who are looking forward to a review of the ATL franchise of Growing Up Hip Hop, I'm trying. I'm, tr I'm really trying. I, I just... I'm trying. I will I will give it a second. <laughs> I will give it a second chance and I'll try to squeeze out something. But it just seemed like Bow Wow had his own reality show in the beginning. And then there was like a rap in the beginning catching us up on what's been happening. I don't know. Put it in the comments. Let me know. Do you guys watch the show? I mean, was it good? Should I go back and give it a second try? I'll try, guys. I can't promise that I'll do reviews for ATL because there's only so much of Bow Wow I can take. You know, he's comical at times, but sometimes it begins to be too much. All right, moving along. Now, see, you Karens, man, y'all better listen up. If you're even listening to my commentary, let this be a lesson. Another one, because it seems like some of you Karens are not comprehending that some of you that your behavior is not going to be tolerated bro it's not so a sacramento that's california karen basically got knocked out after she called this woman a ninja okay now according to the sacramento sheriff's department deputies responded to a call of two females fighting at a 7-eleven this was on june 22nd when they arrived the woman who got beaten up was being treated by medical workers for minor injuries, but the other woman had left. Now, allegedly, the injured woman told deputies that it was a mutual fight and took responsibility for her part in it, and she said that she didn't want to file a complaint. However, in true Karen fashion, the next day, she contacted the cops and decided to file a report. The sheriff's office says, so far, no suspect has been identified, charged, or arrested despite sister girl, okay, the black woman's husband claiming on social media that she was arrested for assault. So this Karen, basically, this Callie Karen, she basically got her A-double-S handed to her. You know, she stupidly accepted a challenge to call a black woman a ninja. And it's all on video. Now, you may not be able to see the video because I have not figured out how to incorporate video in this editing program just yet. But hold on, I'll figure it out. But I do have audio, <laughs> okay? So take a listen. Warning, this is loud, so if you already have your speakers turned up, just turn it down a little bit. I don't want to frighten you guys. I'll give you a chance to turn that down. And make sure you are paying attention because I'm going to be changing visuals as this audio plays okay you guys ready make sure your volume's down all right here we go I'm not 
right there with his okay. butt ass. I'm 20 okay, years. I'm gonna go I'm gonna All go I said was, kid. excuse me. So watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. I said excuse me. Okay, I said excuse me. You got to have a room with me. You got to have a room with me. All I did was walk past you. All I did was walk past you. You start talking about your black husband. I don't give a f about your black husband. Just because you suck your black dick don't mean you're not racist. You suck all of them. 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 Okay, I wish you, like I said, I'll figure out how to incorporate video. So basically, uh, hopefully you guys were able to make out the audio, okay? So like I said, this California Karen, you know, they were in a 7-Eleven, and sister girl was minding her business, you know, and apparently California Karen brushed past her, it started calling her the N-word, so this, you know, ooh, ooh, hold on. Let me just take a deep breath, y'all. I got to watch my mouth because sometimes I can get real flip at the mouth. But I got to be careful. I got to watch my mouth. Okay. So it, it, it's, it's, it doesn't, the video doesn't show what started the confrontation. It looks like the person behind the counter is filming this. Um... The white woman claims, all I said was excuse me, but apparently sister girl heard something different, you know? And then the white woman was like, she, I guess she must've said she has a black husband. And the black woman said, I don't care if you have a black husband, just because you blank, 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 doesn't mean you're not racist. So she told her, you know, don't call me the N word. She said, she stepped to her and she said, call, say it again, say it again. And then Karen said it again. But you heard this woman say, if you call me that again, I'm going to beat your bleep. So it seems to me that Karen wanted to get her bleep beat, right? This is like a dare. I dare you. And you accepted the dare. So sister girl had to sit you down. <sighs> what, a, what an idiot. What an idiot. So she started basically throwing bowls and then you can hear the woman like oh my god crying now again on social media the uh the black lady her husband is claiming that she was arrested for assault this is according to tmz tmz attempted to reach out or to somebody to the guy and they haven't confirmed that as of yet now this was as of yesterday so we don't know i don't know if there's any updates on that now i recently talked about a karen in arizona getting slapped by a hispanic woman in a gas station for the same foolishness let this be a strong message to you karens leave people alone and mind your business stop hurling out racial slurs racial insults stop provoking people granted yes people should keep their hands to themselves However, you hurling those racial insults is a form of assault, okay? If you invite trouble to your doorstep, trouble will show up and ring your doorbell. And they might not even ring, the trouble might not even ring your doorbell. It might bust your door down. I don't even know if that made sense. I just made that up. But you guys know what I'm saying. Drop your comments and let me know. Y'all Karens, y'all are bugging. Keep your, don't, don't go around calling people derogatory names, racial slurs. Stop it. You are inciting violence.
Why are you doing that? And then when you get clocked upside the head, you want to cry like you're a victim. You are a victim of your own stupidity. I don't feel sorry for her. You invited trouble to your doorstep. Okay, this is supposed to be a lighthearted What the Friday. Let's move along. Make sure you guys are liking. If you are just joining the broadcast, welcome. Hit the like button. Say hello. Come out of the butchers. Drop your comments. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Speaking of white woman, NeNe Leaks. You know, I... <laughs> NeNe Leaks. This woman... Thank you, Nini, for constantly staying trendy because every time I put your name in the title, the views go up. I am not mad at it. It keeps the people watching. Nini Leaks is being accused of lightening her skin. Nini, you got some explaining to do, child. So some of her fans were calling her out, accusing her of making her skin lighter. So she caused all this chitter chatter uh, when she posted a selfie from her home looks like she's in her pjs and she was teasing that she was ready to spill the tea about these ongoing rumors of her being fired so the post kind of backfired when her fans noticed that her face looked much lighter than the rest of her body you see the picture and some people were asking if quote unquote karen is doing her makeup <laughs> they made it very clear that they were not happy they were not impressed they wanted to know what in the earth is going on with Nini's face during the reunion Kenya uh what did she call her she said that she looks like white chicks like a, a bad version of white chicks so you know talking about how light her makeup looks so people are noticing like mm, what's going on so Nini again she posted a pic of herself wearing her little silk pajamas and her caption on IG under the picture says you only see me quiet in this picture but trust, I have a lot to say coming soon. So that's what she captioned the selfie. And she also had the hashtag, the truth will set you free. So I guess she must have thought that, you know, her caption was going to have people saying, go ahead, Nini, spill the tea. What are you talking about? Are you fired? Are you coming back? But her face and her makeup took center stage. So after posting her photo, right, her comments, they were filled up with people telling her to lay off the foundation, claiming it looked way too light for her skin tone. So, oh my goodness. Some of the comments were, who's that white woman? One person uh, posted, someone else said, who is doing your makeup? Asking for the people, is her name Karen? Someone else said, I love you, sis, but that's the wrong shade foundation. Um... Why are you going so light? Someone else wrote. Others, they kind of took a softer approach. Someone posted, you have a natural, lovely, deeply rich, beautiful brown skin complexion. This pale and pasty look is not it. Another wrote, my black and brown queens need to own that complexion. Now, could it be the lighting? Believe it or not, lighting seriously lighting has a tendency to wash you out the if you don't have the settings the exposures in the camera that you use has a tendency to wash people out on top of using makeup that is not camera friendly you know what i'm saying like they have some high definition foundations they have some foundations that may not agree with the lighting that you have i know because when i used to be on camera i took all of these things into consideration and, you know, it's a matter of turning down the lighting, fixing the exposure in my camera. So could it be the lighting and possibly like the wrong makeup, the wrong, yeah, the wrong foundation mixed together? I don't know. What do y'all think? Y'all think Nini's lightening her skin? How do you, how do you guys feel when you see black women in particular light in their skin? Like, do you as a black man or a black woman get offended when you see like a, a black, any black person, a black man or a woman, do you get offended when you see other black people lightening their skin? Now, I'm not saying that Nini is bleaching her skin. This is what it looks like. But again, could it be the lighting matched with the wrong, not necessarily foundation tone, but the wrong foundation? Like I said, not all makeup is good for film and you know p 
pictures. And I'm, I'm telling you from experience. But again, it does look weird. It just looks washed out. You know what I mean? And I don't know. So do you guys think that? And I've seen recent pictures of her. I think she posted recent pictures and she didn't look so light. But then again, she probably is light in her skin because if I'm thinking back to Nini season one and there was a major difference. Or could it be that she's changing her diet and just seeing a dermatologist? That can lighten up your skin without you necessarily bleaching. I'm not making excuses for Nini. I'm just asking because people accuse Charlemagne, remember, of bleaching his skin. I don't know if he was, I don't think he was bleaching his skin. I just think that he had a really, excuse me, good dermatologist and he also changed his diet you know <sighs> lord i know y'all gonna roast nini down but go ahead just make sure in my comment section you can do whatever you want on your channel or elsewhere if the rules apply in in my comment section we're not we're not referring to any black women as animals we ain't doing that because your comment gonna get blocked and deleted so you can do and drag her and you know give your commentary but don't put any profanity or perverse comments in the chat. Thank you in advance. Ah, Lord Nene. I, I don't I don't even care if she if it's rumored that she's gotten fired. Like I said before, when I talked about this in particular, I won't believe anything from these housewives as far as who's staying, who's going, until I see the opening credits for housewives of atlanta season 13 and then when, when i see who's holding a peach and then watching the episode who's a friend of the show i'll take it from there moving along miss yance my internet service provider she will be receiving a major honor at the upcoming bet award so the network they announced that um beyonce and be good founder okay that's the name of her charitable organization she's going to be honored with the prestigious humanitarian award so the bt awards show it's going to be airing on bt and cbs on sunday june 28th at 8 p.m eastern standard time there's also going to be a tribute to the late lakers star kobe bryant by little wayne that should be interesting and a memorial to rock and roll pioneer Little Richard by comedian slash singer Wayne Brady. That should also be entertaining and interesting. So the BET Awards, they began handing out this humanitarian honor in back in 2002. And in order to honor celebrities, they did this in order, excuse me, to honor celebrities who donate their time and money to charitable causes. So to date, honorees have included, just to name a few, uh, Muhammad Ali, Irvin Magic Johnson, Danny Glover, Denzel, and Pauletta Washington. Shout out to Black Love. Harry Belafonte, Reverend Al Sharpton, and last year, Nipsey Hussle. Again, just to name a few of the recipients of this hu prestigious humanitarian award. Congratulations, Beyonce. Um, it's going to be a socially distanced broadcast, the BET Awards. It's going to be honoring... Timberland and Swiss Beats, as well as Nicholas Johnson and D Nice as the 2020 Shine a Light honorees, which recognizes exceptional resilience, ingenuity, and creativity in the face of adversity. And this makes sense, uh, especially for Swiss Beats and D Nice. No shade to um, Nicholas Johnson, but Swiss Beats and uh, Timberland just so happened to create the versus battle, you know, it was something that they were going back and forth, just making music. And then it turned into not making music, but playing their, their music. And it just so happened to turn into like a three, four hour live where everyone was tuning in on Instagram and it had great reception. So they decided to turn this into a actual thing, a versus battle. So we seen, who did we see? We seen, well, we seen Teddy Riley and Babyface. <laughs> that was a disaster. Both of them. Um, Alicia Keys and John Legend. Erica Badu and Jill Scott. Uh, it was there was T Pain and who did T I forgot who T Pain battled. You guys will let me know. My favorite top number one hands down was Uncle Beanie Man and Uncle Bounty Killer. 
that was my all-time favorite, being an island girl. Yes, 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 yes. I was here for it. That was amazing. Um, so yeah, and Monday, Fabulous and Jada Kiss are supposed to be battling. They're doing a versus. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be tuned in. I don't even know why Fab is bothering. Uh, Jada Kiss wins already for me. You argue about it in the comments. So anyway, there's also a French anti-racist activist, Asa Traore. Hopefully I pronounced that name right. She will be honored with the 2020 BET International Global Good Award, which recognizes world acts who use their social platform responsibly while demonstrating a commitment to the welfare of the global black community. Amanda Seals will be hosting. Some people are not fans of Amanda Seals, and that's okay. Um, she can be trying at times, but overall, I, I like her. I enjoy listening to her sometimes. And so this will be extremely entertaining. And there will be performances from, just to name a few, Alicia Keys, Roddy Rich, Chloe and Halle, The Baby, Black Thought, yes, J-Rock, Karen Clark, and Kiara Sheard. Congratulations are in order for Kiara Sheard. She was just recently proposed to, so she is engaged. Or did she get married? I saw this a few days ago. I think she was, she got engaged to her, her uh, now fiance, right? She didn't get married yet. Anyway, so congratulations to Kiara. So, oh Lord, mama and, now y'all know Karen Clark Sheard could sing the paint off the walls. So that is going to be interesting. Then you got Jennifer Hudson. Okay, that's going to blow your eardrums out. I'm here for it. John Legend, Kane Brown, of course, Megan Thee Stallion. She is nominated for five awards. Uh, Jahi Nas. Oh, Nas still looks so good after all of these years. I can't wait to see that performance. Public Enemy, Flavor Flav. Hopefully, he'll clean himself up and physically and he will be on his best behavior. That's if he'll even be there because Chuck D kicked him out of the group, right? Last I heard. Anyway, Questlove, Rhapsody, YG, and Summer Walker. Celebrities on tap to appear include and reflect on social justice issues include Congresswoman Auntie Maxine Waters along with leading entertainers Debbie Allen, uh, Dion Cole, who else? Just to name a few, Naomi Campbell, okay, Mava, Omari Hardwick. Quavo, Quincy Jones, Regina Hall, Samuel L. Jackson, Viola Davis, Whoopi Goldberg. Again, just to name a few. So that is going to be interesting. So congratulations to Beyonce for her award. She'll be receiving her award. Uh, I can't wait to hear her speech. And that's no shade. I, I just want to see if she is, what is she going to say? Because Beyonce has been very busy lately, penning letters to governors, advocating for uh, the arrest of these police officers. I don't need to go any further. Um, just out here doing what she can. You know, she has a lot of reach, you know, socially and financially. So it's good to see her just basically using that, you know, for, 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 good, for good reason. I don't know. You know what I mean. So, Royal Family, this concludes this episode of the WTF Show. Get down in the comments. If you're watching the replay, let me know what you think. Please share your comments. I like interacting with you guys. Let me know what you think about Nini and this bleaching. I know some of you are over it. You can't. You could care less. You couldn't care less about Nini. You're like, whatever. I, I don't want to hear Nini's name anymore. Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder said, get out and vote. You know, you can run your mouth, but make sure you run to the polls. Let's go. Stop standing still. Great message. Beyonce receives her award. Bow Wow is no longer quitting Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta. Have you guys been watching Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta? Season eight reunion of Shaz of Sunset is going to take place, but it's going to be a segment on Watch What Happens Live. Callie Karen. Get sat down on her A double S. Are you have you any of you encountered a Karen? Now I'm not telling any of y'all to go out and look for any trouble. Every, I feel everybody has the right to defend themselves. You know, I just steer clear of them as much as you can because these Karens are under this false sense. 
they believe in this false sense of superiority and I want all of them to be exposed. They should be exposed. They should lose their jobs. Sh they should lose their source of income. And I know that sounds harsh, but you cannot walk around doing what you want to do, assaulting people, inciting violence, and you do not receive any consequences for your deplorable actions. Because we know that some of these Karens are out here lying they're out here provoking people and sometimes it works in their favor and sometimes it doesn't and it can cost other people their lives okay and their freedom so all of these karens should be exposed in my opinion expose them all and they should lose everything that they've worked for because if you took your livelihood your income your well-being how you how you maintain you know yourself if you took any of that seriously as a citizen and a human being in this country you wouldn't walk around inflicting pain and oppression on other people so you know loot, loot, take snatch it all from them and maybe they'll learn and maybe these other karens all across the world will think twice before engaging in this disgusting, lowbrow, gutter, animalistic behavior. Royal family, it has been real. I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend. I will be back soon. Make sure you are liking, commenting, hitting the subscribe button if you so choose, and clicking the notification bell. Don't forget, every Friday, usually, uh, the What The Friday Show airs. I like the late nights, you know, it's convenient for me and seems like it's convenient for most of you. So be sure to check out the channel every Friday, among other days, for the What the Friday show in particular. So I'm rambling at this point. There's something else that I wanted to say, but I can't think of what. All of you who joined today, thank you. Um, am I missing anything? I feel like I, you know how they get up there on stage and they receive an award and they're like, oh my God, like I wasn't prepared for this. And they have like this little post-it list and they start thanking everybody. <laughs> next time I'm going to write down a list. All right. I'm signing off y'all. Have a great weekend until next time. Peace.